Hi everybody, my name is Matt again and welcome to God and Gears and this is going to be our 17th episode of God and Gears and we've been talking about the miracles of Jesus. Last week we were talking about uh, the Bible and the King James Bible, but uh, so we're going to get back into the miracles of Jesus. Tonight we're going to talk about how Jesus uh, cast out some unclean spirits in a man. So we're going to be in Mark chapter 1. And verses 21 through 27 and then I'll read those and they went into Capernaum and straight straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught that was Jesus and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out saying let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know who thee, I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him, and they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commandeth he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. So that the people, that was all the, the scribes and the, uh, the Pharisees and the other people that were in the synagogue along with Jesus. And so whenever Jesus was in the synagogue teaching, he was teaching with authority. And the things that he was saying was only something, were the things that only God could say. Humans have authority on certain levels, but God has the final authority. So whenever they were hearing these things, they just were astonished, and that's what the Bible says. So Jesus was making God's word powerfully clear, right, with authority. So Jesus followed the authority of his words uh, with the authority of his actions. and. The demon-possessed man knew who Jesus was and he knew that Jesus was a threat to the destructive work that he was doing in, the, in that man's life that the demon took over. And so the demons have the insight, they know who Jesus is, and but they're unwilling to worship him. They're not going to worship Jesus. And so in verse 25, it says again, Jesus is talking, and he says, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And so again, the authority that Jesus has. And then in verse 27, I'll read that one more time. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? They've never seen anything like this. If we could even imagine this time and place, if we saw somebody doing these things today, what Jesus was doing back then, we would we would be beside ourselves, seriously. It would just be, what we would be saying, what new doctrine is this? What is this? You know? And uh, so it says, for with authority, commandeth he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. They don't have any choice but to obey him. And so, I just want to remind everybody that when we're talking about God, we have God the Father, God the Son, and then God the Holy Spirit. And there, there is no other. And people think, a lot of people think there's good versus evil, and so that means it's God versus Satan. And that's not the case. God is the ultimate, way up here, and everything else was created by God. So Satan was created by God, the heavens and the earth, people, everything was created by God. Satan is not even in the same ball field as God. So, and that's where we get our power uh, as Christians because we're, we are trusting in a risen Savior. So it's just a, a great thing. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pray. And then we'll go ahead and talk about the car. I tell Lord Jesus, thank you again, Lord, for your authority, Lord, your Bible and your true words, Lord. Well, we're thankful and grateful for these things and we can trust in you and there's nothing else we have to trust in lord it's just you only and lord as you had power and still do have power over satan the lord we can have power over satan and as he attacks us and tries to get the better of us lord 
uh, we can overcome them. And thanks to your blood on the cross, Lord. So just be with us tonight. We're thankful for the, all the blessings here and what you provide. And uh, the people that show up, Lord, just thank you uh, for the ministry also. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So last week, we did a little bit of work up here. We pulled out like that, that cow cover here. Uh, the piece here for the roof. The headliner was out last week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we took out the... Just watch the door stays. Uh, we took off our tail light guzzles. And tonight we're going to go ahead. I have all my bracing, so I'm going to start measuring up for all the bracing and get it cut and get it in place. And then probably next week we're probably going to start welding our bracing in. Just for all everything, just to support this. So whenever I start cutting all this junk out of here, uh, the body, the top of the quarters and stuff will all be solid in the roof, make sure nothing will cave in on me. And uh, that's about it. We're, we're making decent progress. I'll be happy when we get the water up here and we're throwing some sparks, so it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching. I just thank Stace again for videoing. It's just a, a blessing. and. Uh, I heard missionaries all around the world are watching the videos, which is really cool. And so that's just, we're being a blessing to them, being an encouragement to them uh, in Australia. That's just an awesome thing to hear. So, But I thank Hilltop Baptist again for the use of the garage and um, everything that God's doing here. And uh, so I just pray everybody has a good week and we will see you next week again. Thank you.